I'm V from Casually Fragrant. Today I want to go over a very special perfume to me. This is Tijota by Indult. Uh, Indul Paris, and I apologize if I have mispronounced the name of the perfume house. This is a niche fragrance and I purchased my bottle off of a Lucky Scent. If you are familiar with this fragrance, you're probably going to know everything that I'm going to say in this video. But if you aren't familiar, with this fragrance and you love vanilla perfumes, please keep listening because I have a treat to share with you guys today. This is an Oriental Vanilla released in 2006. It is done by the perfumer Francis Kirchen, who he's a very famous perfumer. He has his own uh, Maison Francis Kirchen brand now, Perfume House, and he's done fragrances such as Baccarat Rouge, and he's also designed and created a number of perfumes that are classic hits, cult favorites, and this is one of his creations. Uh, Tijota is a expensive fragrance. I'm not going to beat around the bush. This was an expensive purchase. I got this as a gift, I believe, for Christmas. I've had a sample of this for a really long time, and I finally acquired the bottle. So it is an expensive fragrance, but in my point of view, it is well worth it. The notes are very linear. They basically list just vanilla and musk on Fragrantica. However, if you love vanilla fragrances, this is like the queen or king of vanilla fragrances. I feel like it's, it, it's a classic. It's going to become a classic and it's going to stay a cult favorite for a really long time. It is very linear. You're not going to get any spiciness. You're not going to get any, you know, added caramel or added um, fruit or floral notes in this. This is vanilla and it is a beautiful, beautiful vanilla fragrance. I also want to say that even though it only has like vanilla and musk as ingredients, Francis Kirchen blended it so well and made it so creamy and sweet and it's very gourmand in my point of view. It is like baker's vanilla, like a really good quality vanilla bean that is like creamy and sweet and I know there's jokes where, oh, you know, someone's being vanilla or basic, but at the end of the day, like, I think that's like, I would love to be considered a really good high quality vanilla. <laughs> I think that it is sometimes overlooked and there's something so beautiful about the simplicity of this fragrance. I have friends in the fragrance community who love this fragrance and I have friends who think that it's nothing special and it doesn't appeal to them. If you are used to and prefer heavier fragrances, ones with some spiciness, some more aromatics in it, um, this probably won't be an investment that's worth it for you, considering the price. Also, considering the price, I don't think this is a safe blind buy. Now, if the person you're buying it for, or it's for yourself as a gift, and you know the finance, like the the uh, financial contribution to this is not a problem. And if you like vanilla, then it is a safe blind buy. But I think for most of us, since it is more expensive, I think it's best to get a sample. Try out the sample, wear it a couple times. Is it something you see yourself wearing or not? Like with all niche fragrances, I have done very little blind buys because they are more expensive and I want to make sure that I'm actually going to wear the fragrance myself. So, and I believe you can find samples of this online or through different fragrance Facebook groups. So this is a absolutely beautiful vanilla fragrance. And if you like vanilla fragrances, I highly, highly recommend, if you have not, to try Tijota out and let me know what you think. So if you've already tried this fragrance and you own it or you've just sampled it, please let me know down below. Is it one of your favorite vanilla fragrances or is it just a pass for you? I think if I had to choose three favorite vanillas, this would be one of them. I am planning to do a video on vanilla fragrances, so stay tuned. That's in the future. But till then, this is really probably one of my top three favorite vanilla um, centered fragrances. Thank you so much for watching and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe.